So there we are at Banan Bay stop and I'll be showing you all the easy way and the cheapest way to travel around town that you're not spend more money. So still us to go through to show you the cheapest way to move around moreover. Thank you for finding that bright TV now. So we have this one. This one is this type of bus to get to town is more expensive. It's hundred librarian dollars from Panace Bay and stuff to Johnson Street. It will take you for hundred dollars. And we also have other buses that are much cheaper. So let's wait to see them. So we have the most cheapest one. Yeah, this one take you to town for fifty dollars. So we'll be using it and see how we'll go with it and also take you to where the buses are parking in town. Thank you for buying that bratty. Well, we have to come at the end of the bus so you can monitor what uh, will be happening at the front part of it and that will have fun as we, as we drive along to get to town. Thank you. So with, with each transport you notice that there are advantages and disadvantages and as you go along you notice the disadvantages and the advantages. So let's go along. So the bus just pick up and one of the advantages is that it's cheaper which is 50 Liberian dollars and one and the disadvantage is that it's delayed because it's so big so you have to take a time to get filled. They have to be picking and grabbing people along the way as they go. So we'll get to the first stop area and you will see we stop there for some time to pick another people so these phases will be able to get filled. If it is early morning, you will notice that it will get filled, it will get filled quicker because there will be a lot of people already on their way from to town to go and do their normal businesses. But now it's after 12, so right now it's like people are still at work and other things. So let's go along. So now to know how cheap this bus is, we we'll do the calculation of every object we use to travel around. We have keke and the taxi. The keke is the tricycle. So from where I stay or where I'm leaving from to get to town is Banansi Keba. If I'm using keke or taxi, I will use $250 to go and $250 to come back. So that will be $500. If I'm going in town five days a week, then that means I will be spending $2,500 five days a week. Five days a week times the four weeks will be spending, will be spending $10,000 for one month. So the $10,000 will be spending for one month with some also $56 US. That is for taxi or keke. And we also have motorbike. Motorbike, you pay $300 to go and $300 to come back, which of course is from the Sinkeba. And if you are paying that amount, meaning you'll be spending $600 a day. 600 times five days a week will be giving you $3,000. The $3,000 times the four weeks will be giving you $12,000. With the twelve thousand dollars, we'll be getting something like sixty-seven dollars a month. And then we come to the coastal buses, which is not a very big one. Is is one hundred and thirty dollars liberty you spend to go and to come back. So that will sum up to two hundred and sixty dollars liberty a day. So if it turns in by five days a week, you'll be getting $1,300 and the $1,300 times four weeks, we'll be getting $5,200. And when you sum that to a US dollar, you'll be getting something like $29 US. So with the long buses, which I'm in now, is $80 to go and $80 to come back. Meaning from my house to Keba to Bain Stop would be thirty dollars and from Bain Stop to get to town I'll be paying fifty dollars which is one hundred and sixty dollars a day to and fro. So five days a week it will give us eight hundred dollars. The eight hundred dollars times four 
the 800 ad times four weeks will be give you a td hundred and td thousand and td thousand two hundred dollars i'm sorry td thousand two hundred dollars divided by 180 will be getting 18 dollars us so now you can see the difference in the transportation fare so it depends what the person is working or schooling that's how you'll be able to calculate and know how to move around town so imagine if you are working for 200 dollars you have husband to pay you have children's school fee or whatsoever to do at this point we are at banana junction and the bus is so noisy very very noisy that i have to turn down a volume and one good thing about this bus is that no one can check your phone from this bus no one at all because the bus is high up and we all know that the two checks phones in liberia especially the somalia driveway with the other means of transportation they do check people phone like on a bike on a keke or even on the taxi the two checks phone but on this bus they don't check phone because the
Almost every Liberian, uh, tea English book, simple mistake made by many Liberians in speaking and writing. Uh, my, my aim of writing this book is that I want for every Liberian child to speak better English in our country. South, uh, south, south. If, if you follow the Liberian way of speaking in our country, you see that many of our friends in Liberia, they don't speak better English and they don't observe their subject very agreement. Let me just give you a, uh, a, a example. Sorry, an example about what I want to say to you. Uh, many a time you hear many librarians say you were calling me. Even some of our friends who graduated from high school, university as well, they come out telling people that you were calling me. So one of the reasons I'm, I'm, I am embracing from the librarian society is that if you say you, if you say you was, then the English is wrong because the subject and the verb right there are not in agreement. You see that the person is using the plural pronoun in the setting as a subject and a plural subject, and then the person is using the singular verb, which is was. So the, definitely that English becomes wrong English. But in our country, Liberia, it becomes common thing for many of our friends, and they say that and they say it on a daily basis. Uh, at some point of time, like. Um, most especially some of our friends that they are asking for people to name, for people to tell us uh, to tell them their name. They, 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 they normally say to people where your name, and that is not right. Um, in asking for someone name for your person to tell you his or her name, the rightful English to be spoken is what is your name, or what may be your name, or what's your name. But many a time you hear many of our friends say where your name, and they go ahead asking their friends um, for their friends' parents' name, where your father name, where your mother name. That's one of the reasons I'm erasing for this book. And I go on explaining into this book, telling people that if you say where your name, then the English is running, asking somebody to tell you his or her name. And many of them that I pick up, an example again, many a time you hear somebody say where you say, and in a, in a train that uh, somebody says something, but you did not uh, receive the information properly, then you come out asking the person where you say. So that is not a correct English as well. If you did that, if you say where you say, it means you are asking the person about a place. So if you did that, then the English is wrong. And there are many of them that I'm working on in this book. There are many, I cannot talk about everything right now. If I want to do, I will talk from now on to the next tomorrow. So um, my main aim of this book is that for every Liberian child, like I said, from the very beginning to speak for right English or better English in, in our country. So that whenever we travel out of Liberia, people will not be asking us, what are you saying? So that people will understand what we want to say on the global market when it comes to English language. Thank you so much. God bless all of us. See you next time. So I'm adding my objective to the objective of audio. It is not audio map. I'm encouraging you. If you have an audio map, I'm encouraging you. Be holy. 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 Yeah. If you get out of the parking here, you notice there are buses parking. So now they are parking to take people back also.